December 29th, Deserter or Disciple? From that time many of his disciples went back and walked with him no more. John 6, verse 66. When God's Spirit, through his word, gives you a clear vision of his will, you must walk in the light of that vision. 1 John 1, verse 7. Even though your mind and soul may be thrilled by it, if you don't walk in the light of it, you will sink to a level of bondage never envisioned by our Lord. Mentally disobeying the heavenly vision, Acts 26 verse 19, will make you a slave to ideas and views that are completely foreign to Jesus Christ. Don't look at someone else and say, well, if he can have those views and prosper, then why can't I? You have to walk in the light of the vision that has been given to you. Don't compare yourself with others or judge them. That is between God and them. When you find that one of your favorite and strongly held views clashes with the heavenly vision, do not begin to debate it. If you do, a sense of property and personal right will emerge in you, things on which Jesus placed no value. He was against these things as being the root of everything foreign to himself. For one's life does not consist in the abundance of the things he possesses. Luke 12 verse 15. If we don't see and understand this, it is because we are ignoring the underlying principles of our Lord's teaching. Our tendency is to lie back and bask in the memory of the wonderful experience we had when God revealed His will to us. But, if a New Testament standard is revealed to us by the light of God, and we don't try to measure up, or even feel inclined to do so, then we begin to backslide. It means your conscience does not respond to the truth. You can never be the same after the unveiling of a truth. That moment marks you as one who either continues on with even more devotion as a disciple of Jesus Christ, or as one who turns to go back as a deserter.